This hack tip is brought to you by Hack5 and viewers like you. Support us directly at hackshop.com. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morse, and today we're checking out the Nmap scripting engine. What? Now we know that Nmap comes with a ton of handy commands and options pre-installed for you, but what if you want to write your own script to do some sort of special scan? This is when the Nmap scripting engine, aka NSE, comes in handy. Scripts are written in the Lua programming language, which I have not learned and I probably should, and it comes with several options to start off. There are over 400 different ones available, so I'm just going to give you a few examples today of the ones that I have available on my own computer system. Of course, if you need to find other ones, you can find all of those over at nmap.org slash nsedoc. And if you want to download any of them, you just click on the name of it and save it. Now, mine are all saved into this default folder, this directory, which is home slash usr slash share slash nmap slash scripts. And you'll see there are tons of them in here and all of them are named very, very precisely. So I first had to move over to that folder to get them to run in my terminal. All of these can run in Nmap 5.0 or higher, so make sure that you have an updated copy of Nmap. And remember last week when I showed you how to check the version? Yeah, there you go. Now, try this simple command to start off. I'll type in Nmap tac tac script and you're going to use tac tac script for all of them banner and your target so i'm going to use dot seven four again for this week's examples very very handy one let it run and once it completes you will get a banner grab of any of the uh, open tcp ports that print out whatever it's able to actually find when it connects so at the bottom of this one we see Port 2222, which is TCP, is open, unknown what the name of it is, the service, but we have a banner grab, SSH 2.0, open SSH, haha, <laughs> there we go. You can also use this handy one, which is HTTP or other scripts. Now, particularly, this is going to look like, I'm going to put it in quotes, HTTP wildcard, quote, and then my target and hit enter and let it run. Now this is going to give you all of the output for any scripts containing HTTP or any other code word from your scripting li library. So you'll notice if I go over to my directory and I scroll down, we'll see a whole bunch of files that are listed with HTTP in the name. So this is going to run through all these different scripts and output whatever information it's able to use from those different scripting scripts that are already pre-written. Not much to see here, but very handy if you're looking for any specific information. Now, if you want to do just a default script output, just something very, very simple, you can also use another script uh, command, which starts with scripts again, script, type default, <laughs> go figure, and wait for your output, and then you'll have your complete scan. So you'll notice on this one, it is pretty similar to another one that I think we've shown previously, which is TAC S capital C, TAC S C. So that's basically the exact same thing as that. So save yourself a few letters on your keyboard and just type S C. Other than just default, you can also use all auth, discovery, external, intrusive, malware, safe, and vuln as different category options in your command as well. Now, I'm not going to show all those because that would take a lot, lo little bit longer than what I want to, but I will be right back with a few more different NSE options that I found. But first, let's go ahead and take a break and thank our sponsor. The Hack Shop is Hack5's premier store for all of your pen testing needs, including one of my favorites, the USB Rubber Ducky, which looks like a flash drive and it types like a keyboard and it types scripts into a computer crazy, crazy fast. Like this week's favorite from I am Gigabytex86. I probably totally messed up that name, but whatever. This one will paste your ASCII art into a notepad doc. That's pretty cute and it's adorable and I like it, so it's pretty cool. And of course, we couldn't do the show without your support, so we would like to thank you with something special, a personally signed sticker from Hacktip. And you can use the coupon code SNUBS with any order 
from the hack shop to get your own sticker. Thank you so much for supporting the show. Again, we couldn't do it without you. We're back with more from NSE. Now, if you're having trouble with a script, which I found to be a little bit common because not all of these are written particularly for your system, you can use this command to troubleshoot it. It's very simple. You just type in nmap tech tech script again, if I could spell that right. There we go. <laughs> FTP, I'm gonna use this one, FTP Anon, which looks for anonymous login availability on a page or on a, a particular target. Script, tack trace, and then uh, for this one, I actually need a port, so I'm gonna use port 21. 10.73, 31.74. Hit enter and it's going to bring you back a whole bunch of information. So this is going to open nmap with the script command using the FTP anon.nse script, which is found in my directory. And it's going to run a trace on it while connecting to port 21 on my target. Now, pretty handy. And if you want to look through that, you can actually find a troubleshooting issue that you can fix in the future if you wanted to. Now, lastly, I have one more that you can use. And this one is actually actually pretty useful as well. This one is the update database uh, command. So this one is very simple. It's just scripts or script tac update db. And you hit enter and it'll go ahead and update if you need any kind of updates. Now I'm almost done. What would you like to see next about Nmap? We are almost done. I want to know if I missed anything. I know that I still need to cover Zenmap in an upcoming episode, so I'll be doing that. But first off, leave me a comment below or email us over at tips at hack5.org. And be sure to check out our sister show, hak5.org. That's Hack5 for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolust. Bye. <laughs>